Hey guys, Mickey here at a uh, row WRA wall box from the late 1960s. And um, I want to show you something that can occur um, if you own one of these and how to fix this problem. Um, unlikely this will happen, but if it ever does, I want to show you the quick fix and it's super easy. So um, obviously you'd have the cover open to the wall box. You'd turn the key and open the cover. In this case, I, I took the cover off, but um, which you can. Um, but it just swings on a pivot here. It's got these little posts here you see, and it sort of goes in here. So it connects real easily and then closes. Anyways, if this ever happens to you, so um, what happens is, is if you push a selection and then you push your number, there's a little thing that goes around a communication center. But what can happen is, let's say you're thinking about pushing this and you start to just barely push it in, it activate the, activates the motor and it moves it like maybe an inch and then you take your finger off and then you go to make another selection and then nothing happens. And now the wall box doesn't work, even when you turn the power off. Well, the position of that dial has, is now out of position from the start sequence where it's supposed to be at. And because it's there, it literally won't perform its function anymore unless you give it a little push to get it back, to get it back in the original start position. So if this were to happen to you with your wall box fully working, meaning the box is closed, you have it powered up and you're making selections, Here's how to fix it. So first of all, you would open it up. You'd take your title strip thing out and get that out of the way. Okay. Then once you got in here, there's a plate here. Now I've loosened this because it's sort of hard to get out with one hand because I'm filming. So what I did was is I made it so it would be easy for me to take off, take off the paper underneath. And you can see there's little tabs here, here, and then there's one back here. And then there's one here and that's how that goes on it fits over those tabs so let's go ahead and set that out of the way and let's see what I'm talking about here you see that little communication center thing down in there watch when I make a selection watch this thing spin you see how that goes around right it made its selection watch again I'm gonna show you and this is what which causes the box to make the selections when you're making a selection here. Let's say I7. I'm going to push the 7. When I push the 7 in, watch it, watch it activate and go around. All right, now let's see if we can simulate. So what I'm talking about here is if I push in G and I barely touch the 7, meaning maybe my finger slips off or I don't push it in all the way, I just barely push it in. Uh, because I was having a conversation and then I decided to go like that. Watch what happens if I barely touch it. I'm going to try to simulate it. See if I can get it to do it. No, nope, no, nope, it went all the way around. I'll try it again. Let's try it again. It doesn't matter what selection you're doing, but let, let me see if I can simulate it. Oh, hold on. Bear with me. It's sort of hard to, to do it, but. Oh, almost did it there. Let's try it again. There, I just did it. You see that slight movement there? I had barely pushed in the key. Now watch. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make a selection. Look, nothing nothing's happening. Right? Right? If I turn off the power to the wall box, which I'll do right now, I'll turn off the power here. Okay, power's off. Okay, now I'll turn the power back on, power's back on. All right, and hey, that, I think that'll solve my problem. Watch, I push in the button, nothing. I'm stuck. My wall box is no longer working. I can't make selections. How do you fix this problem? How do you fix this problem? Well, I'm gonna show you how. You take a pen and you get in here like this. Let me focus. And you're gonna get just give this thing a little bit of a nudge. You see if I get my pen in there. Let's give it a little nudge, right? Let's 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 have a selection on first. Make sure that there's some sort of selection on. And now what we're going to do is give it a little nudge. Let me get in here. I'm going to just push it. You can reach in there with your finger, but it's easier with a pen. All right. I just gave it a little nudge, right? Perfect. 
right? Perfect. Remember, we have the music off so we don't get a YouTube violation. Now, I'm gonna make a selection and we're back to a working wall box. You see how that is? So, if this ever happens to you where you push a letter, a letter doesn't activate this little communication center going around. What activates it is when you push in one of these numbers. Oops, excuse me, sorry for the uh, shakiness there. I hit it, but when you push in one of these numbers, if you slightly push in one of these numbers, okay, if you slightly push it in, sometimes it'll activate and nudge it just slightly like 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 a little centimeter but not but not enough to make it go around because you didn't push it all the way in if that happens to you and then the, it's not no longer make any selections you now know how to fix your wall box right you know now know how to fix your wall box then it would be simply a matter of now you're back up and running you turn the power off when you're doing this right you don't want to have the power on you're going to put your your uh your your paper tray back on to cover the electronics, right? Then what you're going to do is put your tray back on and that and that's going to go like this, right? Over these things and then you're going to push it down on the uh on the edges there. So this tray's down. And then what you'll do is put your title strip thing back on, right? Let me see if I can get that in there. It goes in here like this and here and then you'll gently push that back so it locks into place and then you'll put your cover and, you, and you'll lock your wall box all right so this is for somebody that owns a row wall box late 60s and it can work even if you have this hooked up to a jukebox this could happen the original ami jukebox or an ipod to wall box adapter all right well this is mickey from coinopnewyork.com and saying thanks for watching my videos. If you have a wall box you want to sell, now I'm working, give me a call, 585-747-0605. I'm located in Rochester, New York, and I restore wall boxes. Check out my other videos so you can see them hooked up to an iPod and see how they work and play. Thanks for watching.